Okay, starting up with security architecture. And, uh, okay, what what is security architecture? What is, what is architecture? And then before we get into technical, well, let's look at what we're looking at here. We, we're going to talk about uh, computer architecture. We're going to talk about security frameworks. We're going to talk about... Uh, formal methods there's there's a number of things is security architecture just sort of a grab bag a, a catch-all uh topic no it isn't um uh, we have uh uh this is a a very foundational area it is uh not something that a lot of people study formally uh, it probably should be studied more formally um but uh well, let's start out by uh, talking about what is architecture. And of course, when you know, in in general, aside from the uh, uh, technical architecture aspects, when you say architecture, most people are thinking about buildings. So, let's consider building a house. And what is the architect going to do? Uh, well, what do we need when we're building a house? And I, I frequently ask this um, in introducing this, and, and I'll get various responses. Generally speaking, somebody is going to say, well, we need walls. Ah, I say, but this particular house is being built on an island in the South Pacific. It's a very humid uh, and, and fairly warm climate. We don't want walls. We may want screens uh, that might give us privacy, but we want a lot of ventilation. We don't want uh, any place where uh, moist, warm, moist air can get trapped and is going to provide a nice environment for mold to grow. And so... Uh, no, we don't necessarily want walls. But what we do want for pretty much any kind of house, anywhere, in any environment, is a roof. Right? We need a roof. We, uh, we need a roof to keep off the rain. Even in the South Sea Islands, it, it rains sometimes, sometimes quite heavily. So, we need a roof. Um, if it's in uh, the north, we need a roof to keep the snow off. If it's in the desert, we need a roof to keep the sun off our heads. Um, so, you know, we need a roof, even if we don't need walls. Well, there's all kinds of other things that we need, but that's the point. Architecture is about what we need. And not just in the generic confidentiality, integrity, availability overview of, of everything. It's what we specifically need in our particular business, in our particular enterprise, and our particular attempt to address uh, what, uh, how to keep our business safe. Architecture is all about the requirements in, in terms of our project management cycle, which we use all over the place. And so we need to know what we need, what it is, what is it that we are going to require. And, and preferably stated in such a way that it gives us guidance in terms of what kind of, uh, how, how is it going to direct us in terms of the tools to provide for those requirements. So, um, this, is, this is going to be tied very closely to policy. Our mission statement, uh, our... Uh, you know, what is our, you know, one sentence or one paragraph description of what our business is, 
um, you know, that is, um, you know, foundational to our policy. In terms of architecture, we want to start with something very similar to that. What are our needs? What are our requirements? What do we have to protect? Um, and what type of protection do we need? Are we, and, you know, going right back to the policy, as we talked about in management, you know, is confidentiality more important to us? Or is availability more important to us? Does integrity come out on top of the heap in, in terms of what kind of protection uh, we need for the assets that are part of the enterprise, part of our business, the, the heart of our business. What is the core of our business and therefore what type of protection do we need to provide for it? And from that flows these other concepts of the security frameworks, the formal models, um, and, and, you know, we get into the technical uh, frameworks as well and, and the technical architectures in looking at them in, in terms of what protections do they give us um, for our business, do they provide the right type of protection when we choose an architecture, uh, try as, as far as possible to choose that, that architecture, that technical architecture on the basis of what is it that we require? What do we need? And that is basically where we need to start with architecture. And and then pursuing a number of these different areas to, um, to ensure that we are fulfilling those requirements. But if we, if we don't identify the requirements first, we can't fulfill them. If we don't know what the target is, what are we aiming at, uh, what, um, you know, what is our core need because of what is our core business. What are the assets that re we require? How do we protect them? And the, the technical requirements, um, we very often have a, uh, you know, a, you'll, you'll come to somebody and say, you know, let's see your security architecture or your network architecture particularly, and somebody comes, whips out this, you know, lovely, complicated network diagram. Well, that is not your network architecture. That is the result of your network architecture. Your network architecture has driven your creation of that lovely diagram. At least hopefully it has. Uh, because of course, however lovely it is, if it's not based on the actual requirements, the actual needs, the... Um, the core needs and requirements of our business, of the way, uh, the, the assets that are most important to us and the way that we protect them. <laughs> Lovely diagram, but it's not gonna do us any good.